Do you know what day it is? I have a little song for you. Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day. Here's a gift I'll give to you on this Mother's Day. I'll clean my room, I'll make my bed, I'll put my toys away. Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day. Here's a gift I'll give to you on this Mother's Day. I'll clean my room, I'll make my bed, I'll put my toys away. I'll be good just for you on this Mother's Day. I'll be good just for you. Hi kids, since Sunday it's Mother's Day, we just decided that as a Sunday school, it's better maybe to do something to our mother. The only thing that you need to make a card, you only need some crayons, I only have three, and then even a, a pencil and a paper. This is how you do it, you fold your chart or your paper, if maybe you're using a chart or paper, it must be equal to the edge. From there we just decided to write a, some lovely flowers on it. I'm not that good at flowers, but I'll just try my best. We must make it maybe look more beautiful. The first one. Then the, the third one. Then we take our crayons just to make them be beautiful a little bit then we do a back cover this is it i just draw another little flower here The last one, then to use a crayon, let's use the other one. Then let's do a message inside this, uh, our final. Let's do a mes message inside. On top is two, then from. A little message for our mother, our mother, our pride. I love you, mom. Then we are done. My mom is a superstar, she is, she's the best in the world My mom is a superstar, she is, she's the best in the world My mom is a superstar, yes she is She's the best when I've hurt my knee I need some sympathy She's the best when I need some help With schoolwork or anything My mom is a superstar Yes she is My mom is a superstar She is She's the best in the world My mom is a superstar She is She's the best in the world My mom is a superstar She's the best when I need a hug 
Making me feel very loved Raoul, she's the best, always in my heart When I'm near or when I'm afar Raoul, my mom is a superstar Yes, she is My mom is a superstar She is, she's the best in the world oh, oh, oh. My mom is a superstar She is, she's the best in the world oh, oh, oh. My mom is a superstar Yes, she is Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, the 10th of May, and it is the Lord's Day when we come before him in praise and worship. It is also Mother's Day in South Africa. Some places in the world observe Mother's Day halfway through Lent on a Sunday known as Mothering Sunday. But another tradition, and ours is one of them, celebrates mothers on the second Sunday in May. Whichever tradition one follows, it is good and right that we appreciate our mothers and give thanks for them, whether they are still with us or whether they have gone to higher service. So we wish all mothers a very happy Mother's Day. The Lord be with you. As is always the case when we come into a time of worship, it is good to take a couple of moments to call to mind and confess our sins and clear the channels so that we may encounter God 
and hear him and receive blessing from him. And so Tobojo is going to lead us in a little time of penitence. Let us confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, pardon our sins, and set us free from them. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, your Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life for all creation. Grant us grace to walk in his way, rejoice in his truth, and share his risen life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Jesus is indeed the way, the truth, and the life, and there is no one like him. We can search all over, but there is no one, no one like Jesus. Hear from the Word of God. Listen to the good news as proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14, beginning to read from the first verse. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, Show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. 
that if you do not, then believe me, because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in, if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of Christ. So we are living in very strange times. So many people are jittery and nervous about all sorts of things. Coronavirus infection, the economy, jobs, retrenchment, uncertainty about what the different levels of lockdown will um, mean and when they will all be lifted and so on. What exactly does all of this mean for us? And it creates a sense of uncertainty and anxiety in us. We've just heard in our gospel reading how Jesus says to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. It was just before his crucifixion and he had been telling his disciples what was going to happen to him and what plans God had for them. But they were very frightened and unsettled about the prospect of Jesus going away and leaving them. And so Jesus offers them reassurance and he says to them, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And then he goes on to say, In my Father's house are many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Have you ever wondered what did Jesus mean when he said he is going to prepare a place for them? What did it mean for them and what does it mean for us? When we prepare a place for someone, it might involve painting the rooms or making the beds. People who returned to work in this last week had to prepare their working environment by cleaning and sanitizing and making sure everything is in place for the workers to return safely under the level four of the lockdown regulations. How does Jesus prepare for us? Our creed states that after his death and resurrection, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. What is he doing there? Just waiting until the end of time, when it's time for him to come to earth and take us to be with himself? One of the things that many mothers do, and fathers, but we'll get to the fathers in the month of June, we'll focus on, on, on mothers for the moment. One of the things that many mothers do is they pray for their children. Have you ever thought about the fact that Jesus prays for us as we journey through this life? He is interceding for us all the time. In our old Anglican prayer book, right in the middle of the communion service, just before the invitation, under a section called The Comfortable Words, it said, Listen to the words of our Savior Jesus Christ. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the expiation for our sins. A reference to John 14:26. Jesus has already won the victory for us on the cross. Eternal life is promised, in fact guaranteed, to all who believe in him. But everyone has a journey to travel in this life until we reach that destination. And that journey is not without difficulties or problems. And there are not many ways that lead there. There is a belief amongst some that 
we all have to find our own way there through religious devotion, good works, compassion and charity, which amounts to salvation by works. But Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is the only way to obtain eternal life. I am the way, is what he said, not a way or one of many ways to the Father. All our works of love and charity are done in response to Christ's love for us. But we are saved only through his death on the cross in our place. As our advocate, Jesus has been speaking and pleading with the Father on our behalf even before the creation of the world, that not one of his beloved children should miss the way. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not die but have eternal life. No one comes to the Father except through belief in Jesus Christ. So, we have no need to be anxious, no matter what goes on around us. He watches over us day and night, protecting and guiding us along our earthly journey until we are ready to go and be with him. When we weep, he weeps with us. When we struggle, he is there with us in our struggle. But we do need to acknowledge and confess our sins and receive him as our personal Lord and Savior. That's how Jesus prepares a place for us. That's what he prays for and wills for us. That we will come to that moment of realization and commitment. Commitment to Jesus, who is the only way and the truth and the life. And like a mother cares and prays for her children, so the Lord cares for us and watches over us. Take the words of Jesus to heart in these strange days. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And pray that others may find that way if you have found it yourself. And I pray that God will bless this word to you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Debbie is now going to lead us in a time of prayer. Let us pray. Father God, this morning we thank you for a new day. We thank you this morning for sending your Son, who is the truth, the way, and the life. There is no other way but through Jesus to eternal life. Thank you that he intercedes for us as our advocate. Lord, when we don't have words, you provide them for us and take them before the Father. This morning, Lord, we humbly come before you, bringing all those to you who are ill, especially those that are affected and affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those also that are ill with other sicknesses in hospital. And we ask you, Lord, for your healing hand to be upon them. We ask also, Lord, that you protect all the medical staff and give them your wisdom and your guidance. We pray for our government at this time. Lord, may your spirit be at work in them, your justice, your righteousness, and open up the hearts and, their mi and minds for your spirits working in all leaders. We pray for all of those who are facing possible retrenchment or loss of income. We ask, Lord, that you would comfort them with your peace that passes all understanding. Help us all, Lord, to keep our eyes on you. You alone are our provider, our Jehovah Jireh. Lord, we pray for the church. We cannot meet physically, but we pray that spiritually we may continue to be your light in this darkness. Show us by your Spirit where we can help others less fortunate than ourselves. Today, Lord, we thank you for our mothers, 
for everything that they've done for us, for their love and for their guidance, and help us to show true gratitude and love to them. In all this, Father, we offer our praise and worship and thanks. In the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. God bless the world. Give it wisdom at this time. Grant us relief and release. Be with those who are ill and bless the carers fighting this pandemic. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Oh